Hi all, you are watching Simulink Tutorial and today we are going to discuss MBD Interview Questions Part 4. So let's start with today's video. So the first question is, why do we need SIL even if we test for MIL? So the answer to this question is that in functional testing with the help of MIL, even if the model coverage is complete, that is 100%, not necessary, it will be 100% with the same test vectors in the SIL environment. And to demonstrate that, I have taken this division block. So this is an input and it is being divided by a constant which is non-zero. So we are dividing this input with 5 and this is the output. And this is just one simulink block but if you are using target link, then this block will have extra protection for divide by 0 and that check will be checked by default due to which during code generation it will generate code for division by zero protection if i generate code for this so this is a step function for this model and input divide by 5 is equal to output this is the code we are getting from Simulink Embedded Coder Code Generation. If I use the target link block and generate the code without unchecking that division by protection check, then the code will be somewhat like this. That is, if the divisor is not equal to 0, then output is equal to input by divisor. Else, it will provide some default value based on the data types. So when you test this functionality in mill environment, all the blocks that is this divide, this constant, this input output ports will be executed and will get 100% coverage. But if the same test vector is used in the SIL environment, it will cover only this part and it will say that this else part of this code is not executed and hence the coverage will be reduced and since this is a dead code as you know that constant is non-zero you can remove the division by zero protection on the divide block if you use target link this way we remove dead code and reduce the size of code and hence the redundancy in the code and when you remove this divide by zero check when you exactly know that the divisor will never be zero and generate the code again this else part will not be generated so next time the coverage will be 100 percent so this is just one example there could be other examples as well where the mill coverage is 100% but the SIL coverage is not 100% and the developer needs to come up with justification or write again new test cases to cover the coverage for SIL. So that is why we need SIL testing even if the functionality is tested in mill environment. There is one more reason for this and that is platform specific code generation. So during development the chances are like during mill people test it with double precision but when the platform specific code is generated which will be let's say single precision. Now due to precision loss for float data type signal, you will see the difference in the output for mill versus sil. For example, with a double precision value, it might be treated as non-zero in double precision environment, but in single precision, it will be treated as zero. And if your logic says that the if the result is zero, then do this. Then for same test vector, you will have difference in output as compared to mill and sil. So the reason is not necessary that sil coverage will be 100 even if the mill is 100% and platform specific code generation. So let's move on to the next question. And the second question is what is algebraic loop? So it occurs when you directly feed through input with output which is this case that is 
the input is being fed by the output so the algebraic loop or this feedback could be through same block or could be through different paths so when a model contains such loops simulating calls a loop solving routine at each time step the solver performs iterations to determine the solution to the model and as a result it runs slower so if i simulate this model i get this algebraic loop error so it's very easy to understand because it straight away tells that okay this is algebraic loop error and to remove or avoid such error the best practice is to use unit delay block in the feedback path or modify the equation for implementing such logics so this is how you remove algebraic loops so that's all for this video i hope you are enjoying this videos and this videos are helpful to you to prepare for interviews so if you like this video give it a thumbs up and keep watching and keep learning Thank you.